Hey my friend this is Joey in this video we are going to create a java program to add two numbers the program is going to ask us to enter the two numbers from the console and it's going to calculate the sum of those two numbers let's start coding the program straight away but before that if you're new to my channel then hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because that way you won't miss out on these videos i create for you we'll be using the intellij ide to program this one because in the corporate world you will be asked to code in either intellij or eclipse so make sure you practice your programs on one of these ids i have already created a java class add two numbers in which i'll code the program to add two numbers we'll first start with creating the main function in intellij we can easily do it by typing psvm and this will create a main function for us then we will declare three variables n1 n2 and sum so let's declare them so it will be int that's the data type n1 n2 and sum the variable n1 will hold the first number n2 will hold the second number and uh, the variable sum will hold the summation of n1 and n2 we are interested in taking the two numbers from the standard input or in easy terms from the user so we'll have to code the program in such a way for taking input from the console or the user we can use the scanner class but we will have to import it first from a package and that package is java.util so let's import the scanner class first we'll write import java.util dot star actually we'll only import the scanner class from this package hence instead of star we'll write scanner all right we'll now use it so let's create an object of the scanner class first so we are going to write scanner sc equals to new scanner brackets now we will pass system dot in as the parameter to the constructor of the scanner class what this will do this will create an object of the scanner class from the standard input of the program or in this case the console this means that the program is going to read from the standard input using the scanner class object we will then display a message on the console prompting the user to enter the two numbers so we are going to write system dot out dot println and we'll write a simple message enter the two numbers okay we will call the next int method of the scanner class next using which the program will read the text from the standard input but it is going to parse it into an integer so we will write n1 equals to sc dot next int n2 equals to sc dot next int the first integer that we are going to enter from the console will thus be stored in n1 using this line of code. The second integer that we enter from the console will be stored in n2 using this line of code. My friend, if you are enjoying learning this program, then do hit the like button because it encourages me to make such videos for you. Next, we'll write the main logic of the program, which will be sum equals to n1 plus n2 what we are doing here we are adding the two variables n1 and n2 and storing their sum in the variable sum next we will print the output in style so we will write system dot out dot println the addition of n1 and n2 is sum so this line of code will print on the console the addition of the value of n1 and the value of n2 is the value of sum finally we will close the object of the scanner class because it allows java to reclaim the memory used by the scanner object it's a good practice that you should follow in any case Thus, we are going to write sc dot close. Now we run the program to check the output. All right, so you can see the program is asking me to enter the two numbers. Let me enter 13 as the first number. 
and uh, let me enter 17 as the second number as you can see the program is currently printing the sum of 13 and 17 as 30. with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video do subscribe to joyce tech if you want to grow in java i will see you in the next video of joyce tech goodbye